First alert weather. This is Idaho Falls right now, and that uh, fog is about 200 feet. i just go ahead and tell you, yeah, this is something you're going to need to be aware of as we get started this morning. I'll spin the camera around so that you can see what I'm talking about. But uh, you can see the lights from the wind farm and over toward Ammon and out toward the hospital and into the downtown area. But uh, that's a low layer of fog, so zero visibility right now in Idaho Falls. Now, I'll take the camera and swing it down. And you'll be able to see into our parking lot uh, across the street, and you can just see where the fog is. Look at how just dense that is, aimed over here toward the backyard of the TV station and what we call the mushroom farm. Those, that's where all the satellite dishes are, so that's what we refer to that as. And look at all those hot news cars that our reporters uh, trash on a daily basis, and, and, then, and then clean up. Uh, yeah, to make sure you clean up. So yeah, this is the, this is the, we call this a mushroom farm because of all the satellite dishes, but you can see how foggy it is when you look down that way and then you come above the clouds up here to about 200 feet. So zero visibility in Idaho Falls and then look at the stars. Look at just how amazing that transformation is. So low clouds and fog this morning in Idaho Falls, and that means zero visibility around here. There is uh, not a, you're not leaving the airport right now. I'll go ahead and tell you that. And uh, limited visibility into some of those highlighted areas, uh, but mainly around IF and down toward uh, Shelley and Firth and Rose, it will be foggy this morning. So give yourself a little extra time. You may just want to take a minute till we get some sunlight in here too, if you have uh, that luxury. Some of us have to be work in the middle of the night before the crack. And uh, things are going to be uh, a little chilly today, too. You head outdoors, Blackfoot driving. That lava rock hadn't moved yet. There may be some fog just past uh, the, the fact if you're headed north, up past the Blackfoot when you head into uh, the Valley of the Frank. 20 in Salmon, 20 in Ledor, 29 in Dubois, 27 in IF, 18 in Soda with some low-lying clouds and fog and the breezes are very light we haven't seen too many gusts yet uh, we'll see 10 to 15 miles an hour maybe later here's a viper cast so cold there's that low bit of cloudiness this morning and then into the day today uh, we'll watch for more clouds later on and then those sporadic shower chances with the tail end of that t front to the north of us that'll push through here. I don't see too much in terms of gusty winds, but you may have some Idaho breezes for the afternoon and that will make these temperatures feel a little cooler. Things will begin to pick up tomorrow with the front and then we'll get some 10 to 15 mile an hour winds tomorrow. At the bus stop this morning, you're going to need to look out for the kids crossing the road, especially if you're under some low clouds. 26 and 7 mile an hour winds. Let's take a look down the interstate. Yeah, see, this is 15 going north toward Blackfoot, and uh, that's not a good look there at all. Looks like uh, close encounters of the third kind. Here's uh, Chubbuck and Pocatello at 86 there at the uh, swingover. And we've done away with that uh, lane crossover, which is a good thing. But you can see the low clouds and maybe some fogginess there around Pocatello. Uh, Jackson at the top of the hill, nobody's in line <laughs> because we're just not ready yet. But it's coming down. Most of us are in the 20s this morning. It's a little warmer there in that pocket uh, up toward Rexburg at 31 degrees. 19 in Jackson, 14 in Soda. The wind chills this morning is shaking you down to 5 in Pinedale. It feels like about 13 in Ledore and about six in Stanley. So with the cold air in play, chilly sunshine, a few breezes, low 40s again today, not much of a warm up, but we'll take it and we'll take the bright conditions. Deceptively beautiful tonight, still continued cold. It'll be in the teens, 20s overnight and upper 20s on into the bottom of the banana belt. Here's your local news eight day extended forecast with a rise in temps and a little more insulation on into tomorrow for Veterans Day this weekend. We're doing between 40 and 50 degrees. We'll finally get back to the 50s by the time we get to the weekend. 47 in Salmon today, 24 tonight and a warm up to the 50s on into Saturday and Sunday. A dry period around here with the next system moving to our north only in the upper 30s today on into Rexburg. 24 tonight. It'll be in the low 40s for Jackson and then continued overcast with some clouds moving with that next associated front, but still in the teens overnight. 45 for the Gate City today and down to 27. If you're on the new trail, <laughs> use your sunglasses. 41 NIF down to 23 tonight and a few more breezes with a few more clouds on into Friday. Mid 40s through Veterans Day. Dylan Carter. All right, thank you, Jeff. In your consumer news this morning,